Hello everyone. Before we dive into the strategies for the AWS Associate Solutions exam, I just want to give you a bit of background about myself. I'm from a non-tech background, so I studied bioengineering during my bachelor's and I transitioned into a tech industry during my first job after graduation. Here's the thing about the AWS Associate Solutions exam. It's actually a quite challenging exam. In my opinion, it's about 10 times harder than the cloud practitioner exam that I took last year. If you're lost in the multitude of options that you see in the internet, you're not alone. This is one of the most sought out certifications in the AWS certification journey and loads of people have different opinions and strategies on how they aim to pass this exam. Choosing the wrong course, however, could be a very time-wasting detour. The good news is, I'll be here to guide you throughout the whole process. I'll be giving you actionable strategies that you can implement in your certification journey. And these are tips that not only are specific to this certification, but also some that will translate across your cloud journey. My first tip would be to book the exam in advance so you know exactly how much time you have to study for the exam. And really drill down on the details on how you're gonna spend the weeks leading up to the exam. So for me, I would actually create manageable tasks at the end of each week for the weeks leading up to the exam. So for example, in the week one, I would be like, okay, let me finish this online course and take notes and that would be objective for that week and if anything does change I would modify it in the future but at least I know what I'm expected to do at that week and I have to do this scheduling every week until the exam actually pops up so my major tip is to really assess how long you would need to take to get the exam and the real tip here is to be brutally honest with yourself because examinations are not easy and you really have to commit in order to take this exam. So in summary, plan your exam early, make a schedule, backtrack it, make it realistic so that you actually know exactly how much hard work you have to do. My second tip would be to really go through the AWS exam guide. So if you read that and you pretty much have an idea on what exactly is gonna show up in terms of the services, so you're not blindsided when you go into the exam and you find services that you have not heard before. I think it's really important for you to do this early on in your exam preparations as this was one of my regrets as I had only looked at this exam guide about four days before the exam. But truth be told, it's not completely necessary if your online course actually does a very good job in covering the course component. My third tip for the AWS Associate Solutions exam would be to pick an online course and stick with it. So you could either choose to have a free online course such as in YouTube or go for a more paid source such as Udemy, Acloud Guru. In my opinion, as someone who's gone through various learning courses, uh, such as the A-Cloud Guru's Associate Solutions exam course, Stefan Marek's Udemy course, and Neil Davis's Udemy course. I would strongly recommend Stefan Marek's online Udemy paid course. The reason why his course is so effective is because he's concise, he has a loads of hands-on exercises that you can follow, and his course is not as long as other learning courses that I see in the market right now. And I just think that he really drills down on each topic and it helps me understand. And his slides are fantastic. You need to take down notes as you go through the video content. There are small details in his videos that are not covered in the notes and it's essential that you actually remember these points. So my recommendation is stick with Stefan Marek's Udemy course and that's pretty much all you need. He has one practice test in his course so you can take that to assess how ready you are for the exam. My fourth tip for the AWS Associate Solutions exam is to take as many practice tests or exams as you can before 
you actually take the exam. This is the single most important tip that I have for you for this exam because it really drills down on the format of the actual exam and you get to understand where your knowledge gaps are, where you need to work harder, what topics you have never heard about. So it's these areas of development that you need to work on. My strategy to practice exam is finish the content first and then take practice exams. You don't need to revise the content, but as soon as you're done with the content, take the practice exams. Take this as one of the most important steps in your AWS certification route and really focus on it but it doesn't just stop at taking the practice exam. So the key thing about taking practice exams is that we're not trying to memorize the answers. We're trying to uh, really get into the habit of deciding which service is better for which purpose. So it's understanding where these services fit into the bigger requirement of the solutions architect exam. And the key fact is you have to take notes and really revise on the questions that you have got wrong. Because if you don't revise the answers that you got wrong, you're not learning from your mistake. So my final tip would be revision. So what do you have to do maybe three to five days before the exam? So at this point, you have taken a learning course, you have done loads of practice exams, and how can you spend your last few days before the exam? I literally went through the whole slides again, the whole 222 pages of slides. I memorized everything in terms of the small details and the services and how they fit together. So my first tip would be revise the whole content again. And the second thing would be to go through the notes that you have taken from the questions that you have gotten wrong in your practice exams and make sure to pace yourself during this uh, last few days because it's going to be quite of a hurdle and you have a lot of anxiety before going to the exam. Break down your goals and align your study plans to your personal schedule. So what I did was I told everyone around me in my personal life that I'll be taking this exam certification and I will need time to do this. And I, it gave me the opportunity to really reschedule, isolate myself into this exam studying mode so that I really drill down and focus on studying for this exam. I know it's hard for you to just stop pretty much everything that's going on in your personal life just for certification, but I truly believe that it made me pass the exam in the shortest time possible. So actively engage in the content. So when you're taking notes, you're not just taking notes in like auto mode. You're literally trying to understand the concepts as you take the notes and consistently take practice exams, visualize the sense of achievement of actually getting the certification. So for me, a few days leading up to the exam, I would actually visualize what I will be doing right after I pass my exam, whether it is to treat myself to a good meal or go watch a movie with my friends and loved ones who I have been rescheduling with during these moments of focused weeks of study. There you have it. These are the strategies that I use to pass my AWS Associate Solutions exam. I know you can do this, so let's keep learning.